I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the new Mark Richards Epoxy Soft Twin Fin by Ocean Earth. So the Mark Richards Epoxy Soft Twin Fin that I've been riding is a stock 5.6 and it's 5.6 by 20 and 3 quarters by 2 and 5.6 and it comes in around 37 litres. So as you can see this is not your typical kind of surfboard we look at, we normally look at fiberglass surfboards but I've been a huge fan of softboards the last few years. So uh, I'm in Australia on the east coast, coming into summer a lot of our beaches are patrolled with flags and you can't always surf in some of the best areas of the beach in summer on a fiberglass surfboard. So the last few years I've been grabbing um, a softboard to kind of get into those different little banks in the corners and stuff and I've been having a whole heap of fun. They've been absolutely epic and how much they've come forward in the last few years is absolutely phenomenal. But what's different about the MR um, Epoxy Soft is it has a nice soft exterior like some of the other softboards on the market, but it actually has an EPS core with three stringers. So what that allows is I guess you have this nice board that's, you know, it's also safe to surf um, and you can get in those flagged areas and stuff without any hassle because you're not riding fiberglass. But the EPS core with the three stringers, um, it keeps the board quite firm and stiff. So where a lot of those normal like foamies and softboards will flex through bottom turns, you'll lose a lot of drive. This will actually hold onto a bit of drive. And I feel like it still kind of projects through bottom turns and gives you pace and speed and drive like your normal kind of performance shortboards and your fiberglass surfboards. So it was absolutely epic. Um, so I've been surfing this for, I've had it for a while now, I've probably surfed it around a dozen times. We're starting to come into summer and we're getting like a lot of little rip bowls, shories, and just some fun little kind of kind of sloppy waves that, you know, if you're frothing and you've got the right board, you'd be keen to get out there. Uh, but if you don't have the right equipment, you might not be frothing on it. And you'll see on some of the footage we've got. Uh, but this was absolutely epic. Uh, 37 litres, got a bit more foam than my normal shortboards, around seven. I was a bit hesitant with that number, but with picking it up, it doesn't really feel that big, um, like it paddles really well. Um, it's got a bit of foam to get into waves nice and early, but it's not so bulky. Like if I was to ride a 37 litre shortboard, I'd have a horrible time. But it's not so bulky that it, you know, it's hard to put through turns and stuff. Uh, and saying that for a foamy, um, it actually does some pretty nice turns. You can do some really kind of half decent surfing on it. So that's what I was actually frothing on. Um, with the Epoxy Soft Twin, Ocean and Earth actually give you a set of these kind of safety fins. So what they are, the centre is kind of a plastic composite type material, but then around the edges you actually have a soft kind of rubbery um, exterior. So it's just to keep it with the rest of the board, it's a, it's a soft board and it should have safety fins, um, and they give you this. So we've got some clips, some of the, the surfing I do initially, and I'm actually riding this fin, and this fin is actually fine. Um, it did everything I wanted to. Some other boards, when you have some soft fins in it, you can really feel them flexing through turns. Um, but this felt absolutely fine. And I'll actually, I'll throw a clip up on Instagram. I was actually lucky I was riding this one day. I got absolutely smoked when the board flipped under me because I was just being a kook. Uh, and I copped this in the chest and it, um, it did a little bit of damage. But had I been riding a fiberglass fin, I would have got absolutely smoked. But I'll put that up on Instagram and you guys can have a good laugh at that. Um, what I reached out and got from FCS was the MR. So this is the MR TFX. So the, um, the Mark Richards Epoxy Soft comes in the uh, FCS original two tab system. Um, so what I got was, the, I thought, you know, I can't ride an MR without the MR fin. Uh, so I got this fin. It also comes with a stabilizer, but this is a pure twin with no stabilizer. Uh, this felt fine. These are actually quite a soft fin and they have a bit of flex, but I think it's quite a large fin. There's a bit of surface area. Uh, and with the channels through the back of the board, uh, I had more than enough hold. 
Sometimes I can kind of be a bit hesitant riding a twin or an upright twin without a stabilizer, um, but this felt absolutely fine um, and I really enjoyed it. But like I said, the fin that came with the board, these were kind of fine. If you're going to be surfing this in summer in shories and rip bowls and all that sort of stuff, you probably don't want to get super performance, but say you want to actually take it out of some decent waves, uh, I'd say that the fiberglass fin, um, you know, probably added like 10 to 20% more performance to the board, um, and, and it was a good addition, but you know, not overly necessary if you're happy with the safety fin that comes with the board. The Mark Richards Epoxy Soft is 37 litres. At first, I was a little bit hesitant. Um, I normally run around 30, kind of 31 litres in a short board or sort of a fun board. Um, but you know, I got it under my arm, it didn't really feel very big and bulky, and in getting it in the water, it had enough foam that I got into waves nice and early, like I, there was pretty much no waves I couldn't catch. Uh, but it wasn't so big that it was really bulky and I felt like it was a really large board going through turns. So this is the stock 5.6 and the epoxy soft comes in two sizes. It comes in a 5.6 and it comes in a 6.0. I think a 6.0 is roughly uh, 41 litres and I've seen some clips I think of Mark Richards riding it and he said he's absolutely frothing on the board. Overall, the Mark Richards Epoxy Soft has been epic. Like I said, I've been a huge fan of soft boards and fun boards across summer. Uh, I've got a young family, we spend a lot of time at the beach in summer, and it's nice to be able to take a board down that you know, I can push my son into some waves on, but say a little peak comes up or the tide drops, I can actually get out there myself and have a pretty damn fun surf. Um, and this does everything. You can, you know, it's nice and soft and it's safe. You can surf it in the flags. But like I said, that EPS core with the three stringers and then even whacking some performance fins in it, it is actually quite a performance offering and you can do some half decent surfing on it. Look, I've absolutely loved it and hopefully you get a chance to check one out. Thanks so much for watching today.